This is John. He plans to borrow $100 from Commonwealth Bank for a special purchase. John agrees to a loan with an annual interest rate of 10%. This means he will owe more than the original $100 after one year. For the first year, the interest is calculated as $100 times 10%, which equals $10. At the end of one year, John owes a total of $110, the original $100 plus $10 in interest. John decides to extend his loan for another year. How does this affect what he owes? In the second year, interest is calculated on the new total, not just the original amount. That's called compound interest. This means interest in the second year will be higher than the first year, as you need to pay interest on interest. The interest for the second year is $11, calculated as $110 times 10%. By the end of two years, John owes $121, which is calculated as the $100 loan plus $10 interest in the first year plus $11 interest in the second year.